Welcome to Alan D TV. It's Rastiki here from Bali again. Many of you, if you've seen the last video that I've done, uh, we've been here for over three weeks now. The well, it was a planned week of two weeks, uh, but the ash cloud, the volcano eruption, meant that we're here for another week. But some pretty magic things have happened, so I'll share that with you as well. So the reason that we've set up Alan D TV is uh, over the last three or four months, we've been asking our clients and contractors and our staff. Yeah, what should we start doing, stop doing, and continue doing? And one of the things and one of the themes that came out of that was, hey, Rastika, when you first set the business up, you know, we used to hear from you a lot, we don't hear from you so much anymore, we'd like that to continue. So, hence the birth of LD TV. So, welcome to the October session uh, episode. We are going to run these monthly, and uh, any links that we have, we will put below. So, anything I just mentioned throughout, I'll put the links below. And uh, really want to sort of get a discussion going. So, any comments that you might have, uh, we would love to have that conversation with you here. So, the first thing I wanted to cover off in this this episode is really about uh, ecosystems, and in particular, L and D ecosystems. So essentially, uh, I first heard about this term ecosystems in the entrepreneurial uh, world in uh, Auckland. So I've been doing some work with, well, meeting up with ATED, and they, the entrepreneurial space talk a lot about ecosystems. And in fact, being over here in Bali, and one of the reasons we come back so often is that I'm part of a global entrepreneurs network, which you could consider an ecosystem in and of itself. And when you've got an ecosystem working together and trust and flow, some really magic things can happen. And I'm going to explain something amazing that has happened to me in this, in this last week, thanks to the, the ash cloud, because it wouldn't have happened without it, which is incredible. So essentially an ecosystem is just an interconnected system of things. So obviously in nature there are ecosystems, but it can also be ecosystems, like human ecosystems. And when we talk about an ecosystem, we're really talking about um, a community. And so I want to talk about the an, an L&D ecosystem, but I also want to talk about a system, an L&D system as, an, as, as a network as well. So many of you know that uh, I lived in Bali with when our daughter was going to the Green School and in fact we are moving here indefinitely in August 2017 and we'll be running the business from here because uh, we've got a fantastic team on the ground in New Zealand. Uh, when, she went, when I first went into Green School 2017 I thought to myself, well, I actually thought two things. One is she must come to the school and that's the reason we're coming here so she can finish her um, intermediate and high schooling here. Um, but the second thing was I had a dream to bring Green School to New Zealand and many of you know <laughs> that it has been my dream. But interestingly it, it, it faded a lot because I just couldn't make it happen. Um, obviously the timing wasn't right because what's happened in this last week is on the last night of our course, which was, was over a week ago now, um, I happened to mention to another Kiwi, Angie Stead, who's got a series of childcare centres in, in New, uh, Palmerston North, uh, about that dream and, and she said, well hey, I've been really interested to do the same thing. So. In terms of the people, and we talk about the human community and, and ecosystem being that community, I've been talking to a lot of people over the last sort of six or seven years about who could be involved and, and those that were interested. So within the space of three or four days, we've actually got a plan. We've got a plan to run a cash promotion to make sure that we've got cash in the back to get start getting things set up. Um, we have got the person that started the curriculum for Green School. We've got our probably our curriculum leader. We have had meetings, we have got the plan, we're going to open up the first um, class in the 1st of June 2017. So, and, and all just lazing around in this pool you can see in the back and the barlays you can see out here, it was just so simple and so easy. So when you've got a really strong ecosystem uh, that really understand each other and, and we've got the common language of talent dynamics, wealth dynamics and the wealth spectrum, that things flow easily. We've built a team around the Talent Dynamics profiling tool and it just it just works and it just creates flow. So um, we do we have been working with some L and D teams with Talent Dynamics and helping them get into flow so that they can make magic happen as well. And um, yeah, it's just it's just been a really great example of how an ecosystem can come together with the same language and make sure that that things happen, the things that you're really passionate about can happen. So that's really exciting. Um, so, so on to L&D ecosystems. So L&D ecosystems really is when you bring together, um, and, and I, I guess just stepping back a bit, when I talk about um, ecosystems, when I think back to sort of 2008, probably one of the biggest terms that would, was to come out of that year was uh, instructional designer. So in 2008, for those of you who have been around that long, um, 2008, the term instructional designer wasn't known, and Vodafone was actually the first to, to really market that on Seek. And now it's just become part of our natural language, and in fact, sometimes overused and sometimes not well understood either. Um, people do some people do call themselves instructional designers and really don't um, probably shouldn't because they don't they don't really understand what that term means. Um, so 
in terms of ecosystems, like, like instructional design, it was a trend overseas, and, and New Zealand does tend to be three to four years behind the trends that are overseas out of the UK and the US. So if you Google search uh, L&D ecosystems, you'll see that there's something, something like 175,000 search results, and it is something that is being considered and, and becoming mainstream overseas. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here in New Zealand. So essentially traditional learning strategies have, have generally aligned to what training, training looks like. So it's structured, it says, okay, we're going to do the structured program and we're going to roll it out to the learners. Um, but over the last couple of years, there has been a huge influx of different terms, reference terms, ideals, media, methodology, social learning, learning technology, design thinking, 70, 20, 10, like all of those things. And really, if you think about it, they're, they're all disparate, whereas an ecosystem would actually bring all of those things together. So really that whole saying, the sum is greater than the parts. So um, what I've done is I've put, I've done some research. Um, obviously I'm not in instructional design anymore. I don't work on contracts. Um, I am probably spending more time driving the business now that we've got to, to the size that we have. So I'm not in it so much. I have done some research and would love anyone out there, and we have got one client who's, who's actually moving, they've got a, a very big project to actually turn their um, learning and development into a learning and development ecosystem. So again, it's hit New Zealand, but it's not mainstream yet. So I'd just really love your thoughts on what is happening in the New Zealand market. Have a discussion below in the comments box. Um, we'd love to hear that. And I mean, if anyone is actually do doing it, it'd be really good to maybe interview you and share that with the community um, to see how we can maybe all work together to create something absolutely amazing. So that real collaboration um, point. So that's a little bit about ecosystems and L&D ecosystems. I hope you enjoy the two links I've put together. They're um, very insightful and I think that, that this term is something that we will see growing and, and see more and more of in the next uh, you know, 12, 18, 24 months. In terms of what we're up to, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, Beryl and I have had to buy new tickets. Virgin was just kept cancelling every second day and they were putting us out another four days, another four days. So we've bought tickets back because we've got our launch um, with Trusty Air New Zealand, which is great. Uh, we leave tonight and uh, our launch, we've got a launch coming up with our two products that we've bought, the global licences that we've bought in. Uh, that really will raise the standards of learning and development in New Zealand, which is essentially what our enterprise promise is. We want to make sure that we're up to date and we're staying ahead of the trend and we're not three to four years behind the trend. So these two products will uh, definitely raise the standard of learning and development in New Zealand. You can come along to the launch. Uh, we've only got 100 tickets and I think there's only about 20 left. So that's on the 19th of June. And if you go to our website, you'll be able to find um, the details for that. So we'd love to have you along. We've had, um, we've made in our five day planning session we've had here, we've got um, some really exciting things happening for 2016, which we'll also share with you at, at that event. Um, so yeah, I would love to see you along and L&D TV really will be, you know, about what's the trends coming up, what are the tools, what events are happening, any news, jobs, candidates and, and updates in the um, L&D industry. So fantastic. Um, it's, uh, I really look forward and hope for those of you that are coming to our launch event uh, on next Thursday, we'd love to see you and look forward to those that may decide they want to uh, come along with any of those 20 free tickets. Thanks and uh, look forward to seeing you all again soon. See you soon.